Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a digital payment system. It was invented in 2009 by an unknown person who went by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto. There has been a significant amount of debate on whether Bitcoin is Howl or Haram. The main point of contention is whether Bitcoin is considered money or not. If it is considered money, then it would be Haram because it would be an interest-bearing asset that doesn't comply with the Islamic law of usury, which prohibits lending money at interest rates over 20%. However, if Bitcoin isn't considered money, then it would be halal because there is nothing in the Quran that prohibits non-monetary transactions. The Islamic perspective on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is a hotly debated topic. Some people argue that cryptocurrencies are un-Islamic because they are not backed by any central banks or governments. Other people argue that cryptocurrencies are halal because they provide opportunities for Muslims to invest in the global economy. So what is the Islamic perspective on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? The majority of scholars agree that cryptocurrency is halal, as long as it meets certain conditions. Do we need to pay zakat on Bitcoin? The answer to this question is no. Zakat is a mandatory tax that Muslims must pay every year. It is to be paid on all the assets that exceed a certain threshold. Zakat does not apply to Bitcoin because it does not fall under the category of wealth as per Islamic law. The word zakat has been translated as purification and growth. What this means is that when you pay zakat, you are freeing yourself of your worldly attachments and at the same time, you are helping others who need it more than you do by providing them with basic necessities like food, clothing and shelter. Bitcoin is an electronic cryptocurrency and a type of digital currency. It's the first decentralized digital currency that allows people to buy and sell goods and services without any form of intermediation. Bitcoin is also known as a peer-to-peer -peer network which is a group of interconnected computers that share data with each other. The Islamic world has been slow to adopt Bitcoin because of its risks, but it's important to note that the risks are not inherent in the technology itself. In this section, we will be looking at what the risks are in Islam and how they can be avoided. Some Muslims have concerns about using Bitcoin for transactions because it doesn't involve any physical contact or cash exchange which would make it permissible in Islam. Bitcoin is halal under Syria law because it is not an interest-bearing asset. The majority of the Muslim population in the world are not allowed to invest in interest-bearing assets. This means that the prohibition against riba interest applies to any asset that generates a fixed rate of return like bonds, mortgages, and bank account deposits. Bitcoin does not meet this definition because it does not generate a fixed rate of return. Bitcoin only has a finite number of coins available for mining, which means that there will be no more Bitcoins generated after all coins have been mined. This means that Bitcoin cannot generate any excess profits for an investor who buys and sells Bitcoin before they are mined. Islamic teachings are not inherently against the use of cryptocurrencies. In fact, Islamic scholars have started to come up with fatwas for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. In Islam, money is considered a means of fulfilling the needs of oneself and others in a just manner, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies can be used as a medium of exchange that is not based on any government or central bank. The Quran does not mention anything about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, but there are hadiths that mention the prohibition of riba, usury. So some Islamic scholars believe that Bitcoin is harem because it has been speculated to be an interest-based currency.